So we had the Arm TechCon 2010, and uh, you are embed, and you make a, a rapid prototyping of, of what? what oh, just anything really. So our main interest is in uh, enabling people to make uh, the first prototype of you know, a new product or new idea as fast as possible. So it's really about getting people over that first hurdle and to that first you know, proof of concept as quickly as possible. So here you are demonstrating something that you did pretty fast. How long time did it take you, this project? So beginning to end, um, it was three weeks. So that includes the hardware development and software development, you know, right, right through to having it ready for, for, for the trade show. And this is like a... What is that? Okay, so this is, um, this is what we're now calling the M3 Pi. So it's a, an off-the-shelf uh, robot platform from uh, uh, Blue. And on top of that, we've put this daughter board that we designed um, in an embed microcontroller. So essentially, the embed microcontroller is now the master of the robot, and it does the, the control. Uh, the robot itself is just taking commands from, from the embed. Where is that? The, that uh, microcontroller, where is it? Under? <coughs> so it's on the... Uh, on the um, and the three pi, it's just a, a small hidden device at, at the bottom. Yeah. It's really not the star of the show uh, for, for their device. Uh, but obviously, by putting the embed clearly on top and exposing all the interfaces and things that it can do. So, for instance, yeah, we can connect a USB flash disk yeah, here yeah. and have it execute um, yeah, commands from, from a USB stick. Nice. All right. <coughs> and, and you, you uh, did an Android app? Yeah, sure. So, so the idea of this um, um, event is to, to try and basically drive the... the the robot around the track as fast as possible. And we're giving away prizes for whoever gets the best time. So the way to do that is either using the Android app to derive it interactively. If we see here as you tip forward and backwards, I switch the robot off. So, uh, so essentially you tip the, uh, the Android uh, tablet backwards and forwards um, and it drive backwards and forwards. Is it on now? Uh, it will take 30 seconds to... to ah, okay. So it's going to pair and uh, this one is online or how does it work? Is it over Bluetooth, right? Yeah, so, so essentially this has got a little Bluetooth module on it, uh, which comes up as a uh, serial port Bluetooth. Uh, the Android app um, knows how to talk to that over, over Bluetooth, and it just sends sort of serial RPC commands. And you, this you just use for power? Yeah, this is just a power. Oh, okay. It's been a busy day, so we need to get the battery okay. charged, right? And uh, here you have the, like the, what's it called? Uh, this, is our, this is our leaderboard. So, <coughs> As with everything, we always try to prototype new ideas. So the, the flow here is we have a beam breaker on the track, uh, and that connects to this little circuit here, which is another embed microcontroller. But this microcontroller exposes itself to uh, the computer as a USB keyboard. So it's essentially typing commands to, to the laptop. So every time the beam is broken, a character is sent up to the laptop as if it was a keyboard. Uh, and what we have here for the timer is basically just a web browser running a timer. The way it does that is it has the JavaScript that's looking out from the key presses that are being sent by the embed nice. microcontroller. There's a, like a light, what do you call it? A, yeah, it's just like a, a sort of laser uh, beam. Nice. It's a standard industrial control equipment. And uh, here's number one, number two, and number three. That's me. Hey. Hey. And uh, what was with the first two? They were. What did they do? <coughs> they didn't Excuse use. Uh... No, so, so rather than driving it interactively, those guys are actually programming the embed. Uh, MP3 Pi robot to follow the line. So, where did they program it from? Uh, so we, we have uh, the pits area over here. So, uh, it, so that's our development area. So you see some uh, people with their laptops. Uh, and they're developing codes and programs to, uh, to to drive the robot as fast as possible. But as a, as, 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 as in terms of a non-programmer like me who doesn't know how to program, I'm the I'm the more one. Well, well, sure. I mean, that's the whole point of Embed, right? So Embed is is uh, primarily just for getting people to. You know, program. program as quickly as possible, yeah. but also without having to have any expertise. All right, so there. Let's let's do a test, okay? Okay, so uh, so I get my Android app up. I have to enter the MAC address. You type in the MAC address. Yeah, it, it should be cleaner than this, really. But uh, yeah. we we only had a couple of uh, a couple of days to get this right. So uh, <laughs> does it need to sync up? So they're already um, they're already paired, but we just we just need to tell the the app which um, uh, which device to pair with. So hopefully, uh, once we put the MAC address in, um, after a few seconds, they're paired. And we see now that just by gently tipping the um, the Android app, we've got control of the robot. Nice, and you can turn and everything. Yeah, sure. So you, uh, it turns. It turns. So let's do a test. Let's see how fast you can go. Oh, putting me on the spot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stop the timer. Uh, and the way this the, the way this um, test works is the first time you break the beam, it starts the timer, and on the second break, so yeah. as we break the beam, you see. Okay. 
you're going to try and drive slowly and steadily. So you have to stay in the road, that's the rule, right? That's the rule, yeah. It's, uh, I'm not so good at observing it, but still. There, 16 seconds. All right, cool. But that's it. So, more information at embed.com. Uh, em solutions. Embed.org. Org. Uh, yeah, rapid prototyping for Cortex M3 microcontrollers. All right, thanks. You, you set up a website you where you have some code samples. Code yeah. samples. Yeah. So on embed.org we have a, a couple of which is where I can publish their ideas and their programs and, their programs and uh, their bits and pieces. Uh, but because um, the compiler is online as well as, uh, as uh, where we're storing it, we can play these really no, neat so, tricks. So, so this is a, a published program. No, so a lot of these are published programs. And you see up here there's a link. Yeah, so there's, there's sensors on the bottom. Uh, okay. It brings so, me to a page that gives me a bit more detail. I, I wasn't really oh, listening, so I don't know. But yeah, there are sensors on the bottom. Yeah, so, so the Bluetooth is for, so there it is for one of the boards in a certain application. Yeah, so it's now the, the, the time that it needs to train yeah. that yeah. 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 So so you can all this system is based on something open source, or you did that? Uh, it's, it's all, it's all, um, wait, I mean, this is just running in a, in, a, in a web browser, and, so and it's, it's not open source. Your boards are typically for educational. Who did that? Like online based computer. That's the project. We've done the whole whole lot from scratch. So with a click of the button, so you see this is our project list. So we now have our demo project code in there. So we can see the code. Same and that is the name of the system that makes this, and we can compile, make this bottom board and assuming the code, code is correct, we've now got a binary file. Oh, okay, so I can do a different tag, let's call this then. It looks like an app. It does. You don't need uh, all these, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Eclipse. Yes, so, so, so basically this existed before um, Eclipse was really stable. So we, we ended up just writing from the scratch, but a lot of the inspiration behind Embed was uh, zero install. So the idea is, is that you can go into a school or a university, and as long as you have access to a web, web browser and an internet connection, you can start writing code. And because the robot itself, or I should say the, the, the Embed microcontroller itself, uh, because this exposes itself as a, as a flash stick, again, you don't need to uh, install any tools locally. So wherever you, wherever you go, you can uh, do some embedded programs. You said there was a community. Yeah. There is a bunch of people. Yeah, there's um, well, six or seven thousand now. So uh, it's uh, sixty or seven thousand. So six or seven thousand. Six or seven thousand. Yeah, it's, it's that sort of order. You'll see some are some are more active than others, but yeah, they're all there, uh, sort of using the system, contributing their ideas. Contributing their ideas, but not for like just the car, like all, all kinds of other things, right? Yeah, I mean. I mean, this is just just one example. If we go back to the cookbook, you see the sort of things of our community are developing. So, yeah, there's a whole bunch of other more have to do with internet networking, yeah. yeah. HTTP clients, and so, uh, uh, you know, we have to connect up uh, Bluetooth to USB devices. Uh, it's all open source, free, and for everybody. <coughs> Well, the uh, the, pro the projects that we can write, they, they have the um, choice whether to uh, publish them or not, and when they publish them, they publish them under whatever license they choose. Uh, the underlying libraries aren't currently open source um, for lots of reasons. But okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks.